sweet, sour and salty all in the same bowl of hot soup. You've got it all in my Thai chicken soup. Hi everyone, I'm Karen Ahmed and welcome to another episode of Cravings. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a Thai chicken soup that everyone in your family is going to adore. A very popular grocery store serves this at lunch and I love it so much I decided it was time to unlock the secrets and try to make up the recipe myself and I think I finally perfected it. The star of this soup is the Thai red curry paste. Now you can find this red curry paste almost anywhere in any store but if you want to make something really special head over to my channel at youtube.com slash cravings blog and you can find the recipe in my basic section called Thai red curry paste. In addition to that I'm going to leave a link at the end of this video as well as in the description. Now the soup is flavored using this paste but also has chicken and coconut, mushrooms and beautifully uh, flavored stock. It's got red pepper and it's also finished off with some rice. So it is such a hearty soup it actually eats like a meal. I've pre-boiled about a quarter cup of parboiled rice and I also have some chicken that I'm going to smear with a teaspoon of red curry paste. I'm going to leave the chicken to marinate for a little bit and then I'm going to take it and simply saute it and cut it into little cubes. Now if you prefer you can use leftover rice and leftover chicken. Next I'm going to saute half a red onion that I've chopped really fine and if you prefer you can use shallots but onions work just as well. So after the onions are sauteed I'm going to add the mushrooms. I've got about four to six brown mushrooms. You can use any kind of mushrooms if you like. If you prefer to use white mushrooms that's fine. I use brown mushrooms because I love the way they look against the color of the soup. Now once the mushrooms are sautéed, I'm going to add one red pepper that I've cut into strips. I'm not going to cook this red pepper for more than 10 seconds because it's going to continue to cook in the hot liquid and I don't want the red pepper to turn to mush when you're eating the soup. Next I'm going to add the cubed chicken and I'm going to add two teaspoons of that magical red paste that we talked about earlier. Give it a quick stir and then I'm going to pour in about two cups of chicken stock. I've had this chicken stock just boiling on the side and I don't want to pour cold stock into the soup so just make sure your stock is warmed up. Once the chicken stock is added, add in about two lime leaves and bring this to a boil and then it's ready for about 200 to 400 ml of canned coconut milk. This is what gives the soup a beautiful texture. Add your rice in and it's ready to serve. Now just before you serve your guests or your family this bowl of delicious Thai chicken soup, add some coriander leaves in as a garnish. If you add coriander leaves in too early, they tend to lose their color and don't look quite as attractive. So always keep them on the side and serve them just when you're ready. And just like that, I've unlocked the magic and the secret of chicken Thai soup or Thai chicken soup. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do visit my blog at youtube.com slash cravings blog and subscribe to my channel and I hope you enjoy this soup for years to come as much as I do. Till I see you again, take care. Bye.